biodiversity in the oceans is enormous. The deeper you go, the stranger life gets, and the more likely you are to discover new life forms. Marine biodiscovery is the process of discovering new products and processes for marine biodiversity. Hi there, my name is Marcel Jaspers. I'm Professor of Organic Chemistry at the University of Aberdeen and Director of the Marine Biodiscovery Center. I've been working in the field of marine biodiscovery for the last 25 years and I'm now using my knowledge to help the United Nations develop a new law to conserve and sustainably use biodiversity of areas beyond national jurisdiction. Today I'll explain to you what we do in our lab, how we do it and why. My group and I welcome you to our laboratory to see what we do. The work we do is mainly concerned with the discovery of new drug molecules for cancer, inflammation and infection. But we also try to understand how nature makes these wonderful molecules to try and adapt them to make them better drugs or better molecules for other purposes. Some treatments based on marine biodiversity that work in novel ways have been approved in the last 20 years. So far, nine treatments based on marine biodiversity have been approved for use in the clinic for patients. Most of these work in very new and unusual ways to treat disease. Besides pharmaceuticals, we also try to discover enzymes that do industrial processes in a cleaner and greener way or to discover new nutraceuticals or cosmetics or personal care ingredients. The marine biodiscovery process can be divided into a number of steps, starting with the collection of an organism or sediment and ending with the discovery of a new molecule. The process of taking that molecule from the bench into the clinic can take up to 20 years. We start by collecting organisms such as marine invertebrates, in particular sponges, sea cucumbers, sea mosses and soft corals. Nowadays, we are more likely to collect deep sea sediment using a grab or coring device and use this to obtain microorganisms that might produce interesting molecules. Once we have the deep sea mud, we ship it back to the lab where we try to isolate strains of bacteria or fungi. One mud sample can potentially contain thousands of different strains of microbe. Once we have a pure microbial strain, we will grow a batch of it in liquid culture for chemical extraction and biological testing. Once the bacteria have grown for a few days, we extract the compounds they have made using solvent extraction. The extract can contain a mixture of hundreds of compounds. The next step is a cycle of biological testing and compound purification. It can be tricky to discover the one biologically active compound in a mixture and we use a range of methods to achieve this such as solvent-solvent fractionation and chromatography. We test extracts, fractions and pure compounds against a range of diseases, typically using cell-based assays. In this we treat, for instance, cancer or bacterial cells with our materials and see if they kill them effectively. Most of this work is automated as often thousands of tests are necessary to discover a few biologically active compounds.
Once we have isolated a pure, biologically active compound, we need to determine its chemical structure. This is done using spectroscopy, which tells us the mass of the molecule and the connections between the atoms in the molecule. The instruments to do this are highly sophisticated, but the methods are well understood. From discovery of a new biologically active molecule to a marketed drug is a long road. First, the molecule may need to be modified and then it needs to be produced in larger quantity. This can be achieved most commonly by chemical synthesis or fermentation. After additional cell-based testing and physical property measurements, the compounds are tested in animals before being tested in humans. Human clinical trials can take between 2 and 10 years to complete before a drug can be marketed. Many marine-derived molecules are used to treat cancer. Yondelis, derived from a Caribbean marine invertebrate, took almost 20 years to develop. It is used to treat a type of cancer for which there was no treatment for the previous 25 years. It is produced using a method in which a fermentation product is modified chemically to synthesize the molecule. Therefore, it's a sustainable process. The treatment dose is so low that it's only one milligram per treatment cycle. If you want to imagine that, imagine five grains of sugar on your hand, and that is one milligram. The most remarkable thing about marine biodiscovery is that the drugs we discover have unique ways of hitting the disease. Drugs with new mechanisms of action are necessary to overcome resistance that is common in cancer and infections. Thank you for coming to our laboratory today. I hope you learned something about the process of marine biodiscovery and found it interesting. Thank you.